Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about Create React App. So Create React App is a tool chain to use React. And it's actually the recommended way to start a single page application with React according to the docs. Now what it for example helps you with is detecting common mistakes early on, allow hot preloading while developing, and also provides you with tools for testing. But beyond that, it for example also uh, allows you to create an optimized production build so you get the fastest app as possible when you want to ship it to your users. So I recommend you to also install Node.js so you can use NPM. And if you haven't installed it yet, you can simply go to nodejs.org and can download it for your system. Now, the second tool I recommend you to install are the React developer tools. Um, this is optional, but I highly recommend you use it. And we will be using this in this course a lot as well. Um, you can simply search for it. And it's actually a Google Chrome extension uh, provided by Facebook. Well, here you see it has over 2 million users. And I personally could not imagine using React without the dev tools. So that being said, um, let's create a React app. So um, I'm currently in my folder right here. And if I pop up the terminal in Visual Studio Code, I can run MPX, create React app, and I will call it my app, but you can name it however you want. And this will take some time, so I will get back when it's done. All right, so uh, now the installation is done. Um, as you can see right here in the terminal, it has created my app. Um, I can CD into the new folder that has been created. And I will just restart my Visual Studio code in here. And this is actually where we see all the files that came with the Create React app. Now, before we get into these files and what they actually are, um, we can do some magic. I can say npm start, which will run a script. And also that will take some time. So I would get back when it's done. All right. So now you can see, um, it has compiled successfully and automatically, um, the react app opened in a new browser window. So since I've got the extension installed, uh, the React DevTools, you can see this page is using the development build of React. So this is our first React app. So let's take a look at the files we've just downloaded. So here you see a folder called Node Modules, and this includes all the dependencies of this project. Um, as you can see, those are a lot, so we're not going to go over it, but know that these are the dependencies installed for create react app now right here we have a public folder and first of all we've got the favicon in here this one uh we got the index.html file and we'll get back to that uh in a minute and then we've got two logos and a manifest.json and for now we won't get into this, but um, this is often used when you want to create a progressive web app. And here we get a robots.txt file, um, which is used for configuring how the Google crawlers, for example, would um, crawl your website. So this is the get ignore file, which are essentially the files that will get ignored if we are pushing this project to, for example, GitHub. Here we've got our package.json file. So as you can see, it includes the name and version of our application, the dependencies. Um, these are, as you can see, testing libraries, and we will work with it in the testing section of this course. These are used by React, and Web Vitals is a tool to measure performance. Now, right here, we have scripts, and we already used one which was start. So I said npm start and that started up the React app. npm build is there to create a um, automated production build um, of your React app. 
we get npm start that we again will use in the testing part of this course to run the tests and we get um npm eject uh which we will not cover in this course and i will also recommend you to not use it unless you really know what you are doing um right here we got the eslint config file uh which like again before i said that um react allows you uh or is able to detect uh mistakes common mistakes um that can be made and well the uh this is actually where it imports the config files for eslint and here we have browser list uh, which is a tool that you can use to specify whether a certain browser should be supported or not. Right here we have a readme file, um, which uh, has some basic information about um, the create react app we just created and a yarn.log file. But again, in this uh, course, we will use npm, so we can leave that for now. Um, so the next folder I'd like to show you is the source file. And this is actually the folder you will use the most when working with React. Um, so I want to show you this um, image right here. I'll just enlarge the screen. Let's see, there we go. So what's actually going on right here is that the app.js file, which is a React component, is being imported to the index.js file. Now that index.js file gets rendered to the index.html file and the index.html file then of course displays in our browser. So if we go back to the code editor, I can show it to you. So right here in the public folder, we have the index.html file. And right here, we see that in the body, it renders a div with the ID of root. Now, if we go to the index.js file, you will see right here, we have again, that ID of root. And this index.js file is rendering app.js, which is right here. And this is what we're actually seeing right here on the screen. So if I would, for example, change this to hello world, you will see it do an update, a hot reload, and there we go. We got our hello world text in there. So you might think this is actually HTML right here, but it is not because if you look right here, the image seems to be importing a file and it's using these curly brackets. So that's actually JSX being used right here and we will get into that in the next video. But before we do that, I'd like to show you a little bit more in the source folder. So as you can see, we have the app.js, the app.css, and the app.test.js file, which is actually a file uh, where a test is defined. And here we have the both of the index file, the JS and the CSS. We've got the logo we're seeing right here. And then we have right here, the report webvitals.js file. Again, Web Vitals is a built-in tool in React for measuring performance. And we have the setup tests.js file, which seems to be importing um, the testing library. So that was it for this video. And I'd like to see you in the next one where we're going to talk about JSX.